welcome to episode two of Keto Date Night. When we first started dating, one of the things that we really enjoyed doing was going out to different restaurants and having dinner and getting to know each other better. But given the current times, we can't really do that. We can't go out, but that doesn't mean that we can have a date night. We're having a date night indoors. And what? basically Who does that? what that means is Richard cooks a delicious keto meal for us to enjoy. And we just, have a little conversation about all things Autumn and Richard. Tonight on the menu, we have steak and vegetables. Oh my gosh, and broccoli and cheese, you guys. This is so amazing. So first, I want Richard to talk a little bit about, you know, what you did, what you did with this meal. Okay, guys, so first and foremost, I basically just, it's a basic marinade, it's what even a marinade, I just called it that, but it's literally salt, pepper, and uh liquid smoke yes <laughs> i was yeah, there took, took a while for that one yes no mesquite flavored liquid smoke mm -hmm. so and i still smell that now like, <laughs> right. so good. it might be me because i was grilling right? <laughs> <laughs> this is oat de charcoal uh, no. <laughs> mm -hmm. just let it sit for like 15 minutes mm -hmm. so then, you know room temperature just let it all just get married into each other okay just like and we're then, married into uh, each other it makes the flavors smell. <laughs> <laughs> you love your steaks extremely well done well well done so i left yours on the flame forever thank you <laughs> i like what i like what can i say exactly what did you cook yours at um medium oh, oh medium. gosh mm, comment down below how do you like your steak oh i'm not gonna judge you guys i do recognize that it is generally more socially acceptable to eat your meat rarer i don't care though i gotta do me i need my my meat cooked all the way through so comment down below how do you like your steak this is just a poll I, no judgment I say, I judge. no i'm not judging oh, okay. you for okay. your you oh, no. raw meat, so she, do not judge me for my actually cooked meat. She kills her steak twice. I know, don't say that. <laughs> and I'm just going to go ahead and say that peppers and onions will probably be a part of every single keto date night because no matter what we're oh having, gosh. I will always request that he make peppers and onions for me because oh these gosh. are just my favorite things ever and he knows that and <laughs> he makes them for me and I, I, I love them. So they're going to be here the whole time. But that really is, simple, chop true. up peppers and onions low and slow mm -hmm. on the stove top until they just get all caramelly and oh, I can't, okay. A caveat, she loves her stuff extremely spicy. I'm not gonna say extremely spicy. I just like it spicy. <laughs> okay. Like I like it okay. spicy. Well, spicier than the average person. Generally. See now that I will agree with. Okay. okay. Hence the red pepper flakes on my cheesy broccoli. Well, the red pepper flakes on your everything. On everything. There's also red pepper. Oh, you're right. There's red pepper flakes. Oh, on the pepper. Uh, exactly. Oh, wait a minute. Well, that's what I was building up to. Oh, so. oops. Okay, but moving on, there are also red pepper flakes on my the cheesy out her, broccoli. Out of her plate. Yes. So it's a nice mm -hmm. little, uh, mm -hmm. little zing. It right is right a little right zinga zanga. So this was really easy. It was just microwave broccoli. Mm -hmm. And then you just made a simple cheese sauce with heavy cream and cheese. <clears throat> Basically. I mean, I absolutely love that. And I absolutely love my red pepper flakes. No, I'm really, I'm sure you do love that. And I'm also going to say mm -hmm. that you pre-cut my steak. Did yes, you do that to yours? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. I will say this meal actually reminds me of uh -oh. one of our first dates. Uh -oh. Do you remember? Of course I remember. So it was it was maybe our third or fourth date. Well, your seatbelt. <laughs> and we went to BJ's. I don't know if you BJ's Brew House. I don't know if you guys know about that. Shout out to the Pazuki. Okay, comment down below. Oh what gosh. you know about that Pazuki? Okay. I was eating keto, and for some reason, I really wanted like steak and chicken, like something from the grill. And when I tell you, I never order that sort of thing because, you know, I don't really generally order it right. I just don't know how to cut it and how you're supposed to consume it. So, but like for some reason, I was compelled to order it. And so I ordered it. I was like, oh, I normally don't get this sort of thing. I'm excited. You're, you're living it. I know. I was living it up. Maybe I was just living in the excitement of being on a date oh. with, a, with a potential, you know, serious relation. Show me what oh I'm saying. Gosh, so they brought the steak and immediately, I'm not gonna say I had regret, but like I regressed back to like, oh, why did I order this? Like I don't know how to eat it. I just don't know how to cut it. Oops. Richard could actually tell that that was happening. And I was just like, I just don't know what to do with this. He was just like, here, I'll just cut it up for you. And like, he took my plate 
and he just cut the entire steak up into bite-sized pieces so that I would not have to figure out how to eat it as I went along. I kind of read the tea leaves on that. Oh my I just gosh. saw you and I just took the initiative. I but... know, exactly. And like that was just one of the first songs I was just like, and he didn't like judge me or like be like, you don't know how to cut up steak, like what's wrong with you? You know, and I was just like, oh, he cares about me <laughs> and he wants me to just be able to enjoy my meal without confusion. <laughs> that was a, one of them first little twinklings of like, oh uh -oh, he might be something over here. You know oh what I'm God. saying? So, uh, steak always holds a special place in my heart because of that. Well, if I see somebody struggling, I'll always help. Oh, so I wasn't special at all, was what he was trying to say. I was just a, a struggling bystander okay, anyway. No, I will not cut a stranger's steak. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but with that being said, like enough talking, more eating? Yes. Okay, let's, let's hop this. right oh into this. Gosh. I am going for first. the cheesy broccoli because this cheese looks amazing. It really does. I think I did it myself. Mm. <laughs> It's smooth and creamy and cheesy. The broccoli is delicious. Oh, this is great. That's literally the first cream sauce cheese. The sauce other, sauce. oh my gosh, sweetheart, this is great. I'm impressed with myself. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice little mixture of cheeses. Mm -hmm. like we, we just tend to stock up on random assortment of cheese. Mm -hmm. So I also there's a little Havari, mm. Parmesan, sharp cheddar extravaganza. If my mom was here, she'd say, and a partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> Shout out to you, mom. Sorry yeah. you couldn't be here. My mom uh, was angling her, so hard to get her, into this dinner. She tell was, her her anger. What did she say? She did said she, that she would be the waiter with like <laughs> with like the napkin over her arm, like pouring our, our beverage, which is diet ginger ale tonight. Uh, right. So in the comments, would you have liked to see her mom? Exactly. Shout out, <laughs> shout out to mom, but like yeah. This is delicious. Okay, next I'm going in for the peppers and onions because they are just my favorite and I just know I'm going to love them. Mm, I like the way you're going. Mm. Do mm. Mm. Once again, this is the dish that, that pushed me over the edge. I was like, oh, I'm marrying this man. He makes <laughs> peppers and onions like this. He can take $3 worth of food and turn it into this masterpiece. Oh, my God. oh yeah, that's somebody I need in my life. Oh, my God. Much to everyone's chagrin, I do not like fatty meat. I don't like fatty well, meat, and so I always cut it away. Well, it's different between having a hunk of fat on the cap of the steak, mm -hmm. between having it inside of the, you know, mm -hmm. fat inside of the inside of the meat, mm. like a good marbling, as opposed to no one wants to eat just a big piece of fat. Oh, I know plenty of people that actually will just chew that on big true. pieces that of fat. True. No, I personally would. Sweetheart, myself. this is delicious. Mm. Mm. It's smoky. Mm. I get all that mesquite. Mm. You got mesquite in it? <laughs> I love you. This is so great in the buns. Thank you so much. Okay, so the subject for today's keto date night is, is Richard keto? That's one of the questions that I got a lot when <laughs> people first found out that he existed. It was like, oh my gosh, is he keto too? And so I'm gonna let him talk about that because we know if I talk about it, it's gonna be biased. Oh my gosh. According to the letter of the law, I would not be 100% keto right now. It's the first time he done ever admitted that Ugh. in public. He would say that he was keto-ish or keto-like or things like that. And I'm like, mm -mm. <laughs> you either keto or you not. Like if you eat sugar and carbs, you're not keto. It doesn't matter if you eat steak and broccoli. Like you guys, this is a completely keto meal and this is something that he would eat every single day and be satisfied. But then he go get some trolley gummy worms and eat those too. And I'm like, you can't do, just because you eat mostly keto, that's, that's still not eating keto is all I'm saying. I would agree. But for the most part, you do actually eat healthy whole food. It's just like snacking when you have candy or bowls of cereal or things like that. Yes. But all of your major meals are just naturally healthy whole foods, which I find amazing. So yes, I'm not 100% keto, but I am keto is. My parents were kind of not the most loose with food, shall we say. <laughs> like we rarely ever went to, to get fast food growing up. Mm -hmm. My dad and mom both cooked. We rarely like snacked, shall we say. I remember growing up, it was like a bowl of cornflakes or a bowl of Cheerios. Go to school, you come home. And my dad, I will never forget this, my dad's claim to fame was 
either you're not eating anything until, until dinner, or he would be like, you can get some peanut butter and crackers and like saltine zesta crackers or something like that. Like peanut butter and crackers, which is food. Mm -hmm. So the first like 30, 40 times, <laughs> I'm peanut butter, like, I'm jiffy and peanut butter, it's all right. I am doing good. But after a while. Oh my gosh. <laughs> There is a wall in there that you crash, let me tell you. Oh my god. To the point where I still haven't eaten any. I like still love peanut butters and I still love salty crackers. I just But together they bring back yeah. memories. I make sure they're never together. Oh, I tell them, I call up and get on the phone like salty, you be on the other side of the neighborhood. Oh my god. Peanut butter, you be on the other side of the neighborhood. My sweetheart. I don't wanna say like a like my dad was like a drill sergeant. But <laughs> my brother went to the Marines and he came back and was like you could do the Marines. Based on how strict your dad yeah, exactly. In hindsight, now that I've gotten I older. Mean, it's just taught you amazing habits. I was like, they, now like, I'm not, I may not be so much keto, but I'm really healthy and I'm, I'm getting that way. Yes. That's another thing I want to say. I'm definitely getting, I'm way more keto now than I ever was. Yes, he has definitely reduced his sugar intake a lot, even though he still has his little snacks here and there. Which he's I'm definitely, kind of definitely <laughs> He's definitely gone sugar free for most things, mm -hmm. you know, and so that's really awesome and I'm proud of him for that. That's a question that I get a lot as well. well is if you know if your spouse is in keto how do you deal with all the food in the house and things oh. like that and you know richard like i said he likes his snack food and his cereal and things like that from time to time so i do find myself with food in the house that used to not be in the yes, house yes. so but you know he's been very very understanding and supportive and, and you know he's really tried to understand my relationship with food and, and how i view certain types of food and so when i tell him things like hey, I can't have these Oreos around, or you know, we need to put these things in a cabinet with a zip tie because I'm just not in a good headspace and I don't want to be tempted with that, you know? He really has taken to understanding, you know, what that means and, and do what he can to help and support me and hold me accountable. So, you know, he always holds me accountable and reminds me of the things that I've told him, like, hey, thought you said you didn't want those quest bars today or hey we're eating on plan today right and you know even even those checks and balances and even someone that will help you in that way and not tempt you and not judge you is just really important oh my babe you well babe. i don't try to either so do you ever see yourself going fully keto in the future like cutting out all the sugar cutting out all of the snacks and the things that you have now hmm I definitely wouldn't mind, and I think it's more of a, it's kind of a learn habit kind of thing. Like mm -hmm. it takes gradual, in, my, in your mind, turning a corner just seems, seems so hard. Mm -hmm. And so, instead of like a think of it as a, as a corner, mm -hmm. think of it as a slope it's you're a walking slow up. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And you know, I always say, like it's not necessary for me, like it's not necessary for you to go keto, and it's not necessary for you to want to go keto for me. Keto helps me understand food and understand how to eat properly, yeah. but you don't necessarily struggle with those issues. So you can have one or two gummy worms and be okay. You can have one bowl of cereal and be okay, you know? Whereas I have to avoid those types of things because it's, it's yeah, definitely it's more trigger. difficult for me to stop and it's triggering to me. So I don't even necessarily mind, you know, whether or not you go keto, that's something mm -hmm. for you personally to think, but you know, Seeing as you don't have the same issues as me, you know, it might not make the most sense because you do eat so healthy otherwise that, you know, the occasional treat is not wrong. Okay guys, well we're coming to the end of keto date night, but before we leave, I made us dessert. This is a pure brownie mix. Uh, it is a, it's a brownie pre-made mix. I added chocolate chips and ooh, pecans. Ooh, exactly. So, fancy I know. Pans. I just wanted to give us an opportunity to try it. Hey, what is this again? This is just a brownie who's, with who's chocolate that? chips and pecans. And who makes it? Pure. The same Pure. company yeah. that made the chocolate chip cookie yeah. mix that ooh, we really I like. like that. I know, okay. right? Okay. Here's to Pure. Here's to my baby. Oh my and here's goodness. to date night. Oh my goodness. <laughs> no, I'm eating. I'm eating okay. the brownie. It's so mm -hmm. chewy and sticky, just like a brownie. You know, just gonna that's a dang on brownie. Uh -huh. You sure you didn't get like a little Debbie? I know exactly. Just a little Debbie brownie, just open up. Just Betty Crocker. Like I mean, that pure mm -hmm. just makes 
the best I mixes it. Pure, ever. What are you doing? Pure what are you doing, is pure? pure awesomeness. I definitely recommend yeah. their baked mixes. Hey, what's that baby? <laughs> <laughs> On that note, we are going to finish the rest of this food, meal and brownie included. Mm -hmm. But I hope you enjoyed Keto Date Night. Thanks so much for hanging out with us. If you have a question or would like to know about any aspect of our relationship that we should talk about on our next date night, go ahead and put that in the comment down below. <laughs> Something that particularly puts Richard on the spot. You know what I'm saying? But on that note, we are going to end on a toast. Mm -hmm. I love this. To my amazing husband who's so supportive and just such a good cook mm -hmm. and just means so much to me. Thank you for indulging me in these videos and spending your time and participating. I really, really appreciate it. You are you. so amazing. That was a great time. Oh my God. Okay, let me follow that up with to my wife, whom I love so much. And it was just the love of my life. Mm, I love you too, your husband. I love you too, babe. Cheers. Cheers to us. Woo! Ooh. I love Dijon Ooh. Grill. Mm. Oh, that what this is? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everyone. Thanks so much for hanging out with us, and we'll see you on the next Keto Date Night. Bye! Bye!